Hey, good evening. This evening, I want to talk to you about how you're under an illusion that your time is important to you. Good evening. My name's Rob and I am the CEO of TetraKey.com and I'd like you to welcome you to this episode number 150 of TetraKey TV. That means this year, this is the 150th time that Mark or I has brought you uh, an episode in 2017 and um, that means 90 more and uh, we've reached our target of I think it was 240 or 260 for this year so we're, we're, we're getting there it's getting close how exciting is that um, I, I'm in my final few days uh, lead up at this point in time to a long 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 trip to the USA um, I think I'll be there seven, eight weeks, something like that. And I fly at 6.30 on Saturday mornings. So this past few weeks has been pushing it in every single direction. Um, it's quite exciting. We've got so much done. Um, and I'm so excited to go over to the US and uh, get cracking with all the plans we've got over there as well. So that's what I've been up to. Um, so I guess what I'll ask, uh, when we think about success... In fact, let's go back a few stages. Uh, there's lots of talk out there at this point in time. If you look at Facebook and uh, you follow any social media and people talk to you about the importance of time and how your time is the most important and how you need to get the most out of your time um, and so on and so forth. And, and frankly, I think you're being given a false sense of um, higher self-worth around your time than, than, maybe, um, than maybe you deserve. And that's quite a bold statement, isn't it? Um, why do I say that? Well, <clears throat> over the years I've worked with, I've worked for, um, and I've observed uh, a large, large, large number of business owners, of managers, of leaders, of bosses um, and I've observed people in those positions uh, often uh, above me in in the, the business world you know I, I'm, I'm the, the person doing the work on their behalf um, and I guess I've been in that position myself with a workforce of two and a half thousand working for me at one point in time um, I've seen people use time in different ways and time with different regards. So at one end, uh, I've seen people who are um, so rigorous with their time. It is unbelievable. And if they say that they're going to have a meeting with you at uh, 10 a.m. on Thursday morning, morning, they have a meeting with you at 10 a.m. on Thursday morning without fail. Um, nothing gets in that way. No strategic imperative, no other priority. Nothing gets in the way of that. They fit everything else around. It happens at 10 o'clock on Thursday morning regardless. They stick to their diary um, rigidly. Um, they, they probably need a nuclear bomb to go off next to them for uh, a change in their diary to actually happen. And I mean a genuine nuclear bomb, you know, ending the business and closing the business forever size nuclear bomb. And then I've seen an, an experience working for people who, um, who book their diary up and then chop and change their diary on a really, really regular basis as well. They, they shuffle bits around and they move the jigsaw puzzle and they change times and locations of meetings and, um, and they go about doing it like that as, as well for them. And um, what I want to talk about tonight really is the fact that um, the more people you have working beneath you, and the wider the customer base those people are responsible for, the, um, the more you need to be conscious of how you use your time. Because time usages as a boss or a leader has a, a ripple effect throughout your business and into the customers. So what is it? Well, here's the thing. If you've got more than five people working for you in the entirety of your business, my best advice is you need to become like the person who, when they say Thursday at 10 a.m., it happens Thursday at 10 a.m. Even if they're in hospital, it'll be on Skype Thursday at 10 a.m. Why? Because the ripple effect of if, if you're due to meet four people 
in a, in, a, in a team or group meeting and you decide to move that meeting, you don't just move it in your diary, you move it in four other people's diaries. Those four other people's diary have to go and rearrange their days now to meet your day. And there's a fair chance that the net input of that throughout a day is that over a hundred people's diaries, just from those four, are going to get affected and changed throughout that day from one person changing their diary. The implication on that often is, um, is that people's planning, which is one of the most important things they can be doing to be successful for you, goes out of the window. That... Um, that, that customer service gets reduced because now what they thought they were doing to serve a customer at a certain time, now they're having to change it around. Um, sales always reduce when leaders change their diaries. Sales always go down. Um, and from that, market share goes down as, as well. And so how important as a successful executive, a successful leader, a successful business owner, is your time. Well it's critically important to everybody beneath you and minimally important to you. If you have a perception that your time is of value to you, frankly you're being, um, you're being delusional in your, um, in your work. In fact actually at this point in time I could go around um, and, and look at leadership time behaviours and, and, and I, I would put money on it if I go into five large, large businesses all in the same industry, that the leadership who sticks to their timelines 100% will be the businesses that are growing fastest with the largest market share. And those who change it the most um, and don't stick to their timelines the, the most will be the ones who um, have a shrinking business with least market share. So my question to you is, how important is your time to you? Or is it really important to everybody about you? What's the size of the ripple effect for you having flexibility with your time to suit your own purposes? Are you under the illusion that a, that a, a problem from above or from one side is greater than, uh, which requires a diary change, is greater than the problem you cause by affecting hundreds of people's diaries beneath you? Which is it? Now, I'm not here to judge. What I am here to say is that consistency and commitment are the two single biggest factors that people need in order to be successful. That's consistency and commitment to everything that they do. Commitment obviously means following through to 100%, because if you haven't followed through to 100%, You've never actually committed. So how does your diary look? How do you treat it? And how do you view the diaries of other people about you? That's it. That's it from me today. What I'd ask you all to do is to take a step forwards now and go and consider your diary and how often you change it and consider about your level of commitment and consistency and what it is you're likely to have as an output from how your commitment and consistency level is at this point in time. So hopefully I'll be with you again tomorrow night, uh, Friday, I think, um, and, and then you'll be joined by Mark for a while, but I may well come and say hi from Dubai and Seattle and whatever else. But uh, it's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure for all of those of you who joined me for the past 150 episodes of Tetra Key TV, and uh, we look forward to bringing you more. So stay amazing. Thank you.